An Aspiring Kvotes by Stephen Covey. It's not what happens to us, but our response to what happens to us that hurt us. If I really want to improve my situation, I can work on one thing over which I have control myself. There is no better way to inform and expand your mind on a regular basis than to get into the habit of reading good literature. As long as you think the problem is out there, that very thought is the problem. Make a small commitment and keep them. Be a light, not a judge. Be a model, not a critic. Be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Be patient with yourself, self-growth is tender, it is holy ground, there is no greater investment. It is sometimes a painful process. It is a change that has to be motivated by a higher purpose, by the willingness to subordinate what you think you want now for what you want later. We are free to choose our actions based on our knowledge of correct principles, but we are not free to choose the consequences of those actions. Remember, if you pick up one end of the stick, you pick up the other. Effective people lead their lives and manage their relationships around principles. And effective people attempt to manage their time around priorities and their tasks around goals. Think effectiveness with people, efficiency with things. What we believe about ourselves and our purpose has a powerful impact 
on how we live, how we love, and what we learn. My friend, love is a verb. Love, the feeling, is a fruit of love. The verb. So, love her. Serve her. Sacrifice. Listen to her. Empathize. Appreciate. Affirm her. Are you willing to do that? If our feelings control our actions, it is because we have abdicated our responsibility and empowered them to do so. A tendency that runs through your family for generations can stop with you. You are a transition person, a link between past and future, and your own change can affect many, many lives downstream. The most important ingredient we put into any relationship is not what we say or what we do, but what we are. Basing our happiness on our ability to control everything is futile. While we do control our choice of action, we cannot control the consequences of our choices. Urgency addiction is a self-destructive behavior that temporarily fills the void created by unmet needs. And instead of meeting these needs, the tools and approaches of time management often feed the addiction. They keep us focused on daily prioritization of the urgent. I am what I am today because of the choices I made yesterday. When we talk about time management, it seems ridiculous to worry about speed before direction about saving minutes when we may be wasting years. Most believe that the key to influence is communication. Getting your point across clearly and speaking persuasively. In fact, if you think about it, don't you find that while others are speaking to you and instead of really listening to understand, you are often busy preparing your response. Whatever your present situation, I assure you, 
that you are not your habits. You can replace old patterns of self-defeating behavior with new patterns. New habits of effectiveness, happiness, and trust-based relationships. Thanks for watching.